everyone. A lot of interesting news in the startup space today. I'm Priya Shet and a very warm welcome to all of you to The Daily Dispatch. The companies that are in news today include Reliance, Zomato as well as Apps for Bharat. Well, headline number one, Deal Street is clearly buzzing. Reliance Retail Ventures has taken sole control of Just Dial. Now, Reliance Retail Ventures now holds about 40.98% stake in Just Dial. And this acquisition represents 15.63% of the post-preferential issue paid up equity share capital of Just Dial. Now, Just Dial has an extensive database of around 30.4 million listings and its existing consumer traffic is of around 120. 29 million quarterly unique users. Well, food delivery giant Zomato will be shutting its UK and Singapore-based subsidiaries. The company said that both these subsidiaries, which is Singapore's Zomato Media Private Limited and Zomato UK Limited, did not have any active business operations and their strike-off would not have any impact on the turnover or revenue of the company. Well, moving on to the final headline of the day, Apps for Bharat, the company focused on building apps to service the spiritual and devotional needs of Indian users, has raised about $10 million as part of its Series A funding round led by Elevation Capital. The proceeds will be used to create content IPs, build the product as well as hire talent across the data as well as engineering verticals. Well, moving on to our second segment, I have with me someone who's just made an acquisition. Uh, I have with me Abhimanyu Saxena uh, joining us from Scalar Academy. Thank you very much, Abhimanyu, for joining us today. I want to begin by asking you a little bit about your acquisition coding elements, something that you've uh, recently acquired. Tell us a little bit about what this acquisition really means for you at Scalar and why data sciences has suddenly become a very important part, uh, uh, and which is why the acquisition was conducted. Right, right. So coding element acquisition, uh, primarily the entire team uh, is going to focus on the data science vertical of Scalar Academy. Uh, one of the primary reason I would say for any acquisition or merger at this scale for us, the most ele- important element is always the team. Uh, so of course, uh, Modet, who was the co-founder of uh, coding elements, uh, he have been a data scientist himself with prior experience in LinkedIn US. Uh, so he is one of the great best leader to kind of drive this uh, vertical for us. On the question of why has data science suddenly become you know such an important uh, uh, field uh, to operate in for any higher education at tech. So for us, the decision was uh, pretty organic. Uh, all the employer partners that we work with who have been hiring thousands of software engineers from Scalar Academy, there is a massive demand for uh, hiring data scientists. However, Apart from the demand, uh, a pain point is that it is just like software engineering. It is very, very hard to find people who are hands-on with the concepts of data science, implementing them into production systems. One common complaint that we heard was that even people who might have done certain courses on data science, they only possess a lot more theoretical knowledge, but they are often not hands-on with the systems that need to be implemented at the all the rapidly growing tech startups and the larger MNCs. So the program we are, the intent of creating this program is creating a very hands-on course on data science, which cater to the demand of the industry. Right. You know, I want to understand in terms of your larger growth plans, because uh, at this point in time, the edtech space seems to be really buzzing. Um, You know, we've seen uh, historical rounds of fundraise happen over the last six to eight months. So tell us a little bit about what your roadmap is uh, for this financial year. So we are already growing at a, at a, you know, at a month over month rate of almost 20%, uh, which of course is pretty astonishing because these are the kind of growth rates that companies usually target for the quarters. Uh, With the addition of data science, what we clearly foresee is that data science as a vertical itself can grow as big as the software engineering vertical of ours. So we are already at an annual run rate of about $30 million. Uh, early next year, we plan to be launching in launching internationally as well. Uh, we already have uh, you know, a team in place for that who is doing the groundwork. Uh, another factor that we know for sure is that uh, international uh, is probably even bigger than the business that we have been able to build in India. Overall, across all the verticals that we have, we clearly foresee that we will hit a hundred million 
annual dollars uh, annual run rate uh, by end of 2022 before end of 2022 for sure right that's interesting so in in terms of international expansion which countries are you targeting is there a roadmap out there right so currently the team is on the research phase on various parameters that uh, what the geographies would work best of course the highest on the priority list are us latin america europe and southeast asia we are yet to evaluate hopefully in a month or so we would be announcing exactly which geography we are picking to start with first right you know in terms of the kind of growth in user base uh, just for the benefit of our audience tell us a little bit about uh, what kind of growth we've seen over the last uh, 8 to 12 months considering that we are in the middle of a pandemic people are doing courses online and right. especially working professionals are looking at adding value to their already existing skill set so give us some perspective on that please so uh, if we talk about since the beginning of pandemic which was say uh, march march 2020 right uh we and if i compare our growth uh, so initial 2 3 months to be very candid were you know like kind of prepping ourselves up for the new world right uh certain changes in the business model in the way of operating since october 2020 we have almost grown four times in terms of revenue both in terms of revenue number of users who enrolled for the courses uh if i talk about another platform uh, which is built by us interviewbit.com that has also almost become two and half times in terms of daily active users monthly active users uh since the pandemic started so actually pandemic has definitely changed certain user behaviors as well just like working from home learning from home have become a norm rather than a you know a a a, a unique thing or a or a novelty uh and which definitely has substantially like what otherwise could have happened probably in a year now happens in a quarter the growth that otherwise people would have in a tech uh, otherwise what people would have expected annually is generally uh, no, have become a norm to grow at that pace quarterly or half yearly right you know i want to also understand in terms of uh, you know a short term or a medium term target in terms of revenue you said you're looking at a uh you know decent enough run rate for uh, at the end of fy22 what are your larger targets in terms of category expansion are you looking at adding more uh, courses to your already existing portfolio uh and in terms of uh, overall growth numbers if there are some numbers that you can share for say 2025 uh, what kind of targets you are working with so in terms of categories one thing we are clear on that we are going to remain focused on the space of technology uh while the pedagogy uh, and the platform that we have built to cater, might cater to wider segments of learning as well but we intended to remain focused to the category of uh, tech learning in terms of courses of course right now itself we have software engineering data sciences we recently launched a subscription product for the software engineers as well to continue their upskilling and learning forever uh, because it's not just about finishing a course but in the field of technology one has to keep upskilling themselves uh, you know like as long as you remain in the field of technology so there's a subscription product that is being launched in the mid of uh, september itself uh talking about shorter term goals uh, we are clearly on a set path to achieve uh, arr of 50 million us dollars by in uh, you know the end of december 2021 which is just about 3 4 months from now uh with the current growth rate that we are seeing already uh year 2022 as i mentioned we are projecting to hit 100 million arr by end of 2022 uh super long term projections uh, what we know is that you know as we all know that technology is eating the world uh currently as we all see there is a war for talent that is going on not just in india but globally as well uh and when there is a war going on essentially we are in the business of producing the weaponry which is the software engineers or the data scientists uh so the market is extremely large uh, you know when there's a, and we know that the war for te- tech talent is never going to stop as the industry grows matures further um and if we are in the business of creating the tech talent creating the you know creating abundance of tech talent uh, the market is very very massive our projections for 2025 show that uh, if we keep executing as we are we can easily hit uh, annual revenue run rate of somewhere between 5 to 10 billion dollars Right. The final question before I let you go on fundraise. Uh, right, as of, as we speak, there are there's so much cash in the market. Are you looking at raising some funds because you have aggressive expansion plans as well lined up? Uh, we of course keep conversing with various uh, VC partners, uh, hedge fund partners, etc. There are 
uh, multiple offers that we have as well however right now we are in the process of evaluating that uh, you know what is the right amount of capital or if we need capital because we interestingly we have been a cash flow positive profitable company as well lately uh, so uh, like it's not that we need investments immediately for our, our immediate next 3 or 6 months execution but of course for the size of ambition that we have of global growth uh, definitely capital would be an important player for the longer run we do have offers from the best vcs in the world we are evaluating uh, whether we want how we want to structure this right now all right abhimanyu and that's no thank you very much for joining us it's been a pleasure connecting with you thank you so much for being a part of the team this time Well time now to wrap up this edition of the Daily Dispatch. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you on Monday at 5 p.m. Goodbye and have a lovely weekend. Mm-hmm.